So on Monday I gave a presentation on uh, infrared nanospectroscopy and we are using a, a, a very different method uh, for detecting light absorption uh, compared to traditional optical techniques. Rather than detecting light absorption itself, we monitor molecular expansion due to light absorption. If molecules absorb light, they are heated up a little bit and that produces a force on an atomic force microscope tip. That force leads to an atomic microscope tip deflection. It's a tiny force, but it produces detectable deflection that you can see, observe with an atomic force microscope electronics. And uh, uh, remarkably, even when you have a few molecules below the AFM tip, they could produce enough force under proper circumstances. You need to tweak some, do some experimental tricks to do that. But when you do the tricks, they produce enough force to produce detectable cantilever deflections. So imagine just a few molecules under the tip and they produce enough forces so that this macroscopic tip starts moving. As we tune the laser wavelengths, we can see at what frequencies the molecules absorb. And in such a way, we perform the spectroscopy of these molecules right under the tip. There are still a lot of problems uh, that need to be solved. For example, um, this method works very nice, nicely in air, but a lot of uh, mm, biologically or chemically relevant situations require sample being in liquid. You know, all biological samples require liquids to be operated in. So we have just started developing or extending this method into liquids, and there are some challenges because cantilever is, uh, is damped as it tries to oscillate in liquid. And so we tried to get similar sensitivity, few molecule sensitivity, but now in liquid. This is a big challenge, which we still need to figure out how to solve uh, you know, with high sensitivity. Uh, another still an open question is that uh, nobody to this day uh, performs single molecule infrared uh, spectroscopy. People have already demonstrated Raman spectroscopy of a single molecule, but no single molecule infrared spectroscopy has been done under ambient conditions. We had another plenary earlier uh, on Tuesday um, uh, where um, uh, researchers from China demonstrated that you can perform single molecule spectroscopy with an STM scanning tunnel in microscope in ultra high vacuum environment. But this is a very different environment from you know ambient conditions and in ambient conditions that has not been done by any means. Now we already have something uh, about uh, 300 uh, sensitivity of about 300 molecules. That's what we estimate uh, in our experiments. We now need to improve our sensitivity by about you know, 100 to 1,000 times to be able to see a single molecule. If you see a single molecule uh, in infrared, you, uh, you can, uh, for example, perform, um, uh, you, can, uh, uh, you can look at the larger molecule and uh, uh, move the tip to different parts of that molecule and see the chemical composition because every part of that molecule would uh, uh, have characteristic absorption lines. Imagine a large biological molecule, for example, and you move the tip along it and you try to um, uh, essentially sequence the chemical composition of this molecule. This is a very big challenge. Nobody knows how to, how to do it. But I think with certain additional tricks that we can introduce to this method, this may be possible. So there are big challenges ahead and you know, still a lot of problems to be solved.